We're back with a Fox News alert. A U.S. military aircraft crashes overnight during NATO drills in Norway, killing all four Americans on board. Yeah, and while officials say the military drills are unrelated to the Russian invasion, NATO countries are keeping a close eye on Moscow as it claims to be escalating its deadly attacks on Ukraine. Here to react is Texas Congressman Lance Gooden. Congressman, thanks so much for being here. Obviously, Tragic, sad news overnight with uh, Americans killed in this crash. As exercises continue Very. in NATO countries, uh, your reaction? Well, this is just another example of the sacrifices that American military uh, men and women and families make. And my hearts and prayers are uh, with these families. We don't know really the details of this accident or, uh, or the situation there. I suspect we'll learn more today. But uh, we're keeping an eye on it, and our, uh, our prayers are with these families. Absolutely. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the situation in Ukraine. Where do you think things are going? How do things stand? I know Zelensky came and spoke to um, members of Congress this past week. Uh, where are you at with that? Well, I, I believe that the Ukrainians are putting up a good, a good fight. I, I understand that the Ukrainian citizenry is very much behind their president. I am getting the sense that they're not very interested in giving much up to the Russians at this point. The Ukrainian people believe that they're winning. I was uh, kind of learning more about the history of President Zelensky. He wasn't uh, very popular as a, a peacetime president. He is very popular now as a wartime president. And he has rallied his uh, his people behind him, and they are all in in this war to defend themselves, and they're doing a fine job uh, as of as of yet. And so I think the the coming days will be very telling. I'm under, I understand there are negotiations going on with the Russians, but I think that President Zelensky is really going to struggle to give much up to the Russians at this point because the people he represents uh, feel like they're winning. Yeah. Congressman, we want to pivot here. Um, we hear that you and your colleagues in the House GOP are demanding a federal investigation to possible Russian financing of environmentalist uh, groups. Um, you just introduced a bill to require nonprofits to disclose the Russian donations. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. This has been a two-year fight for me. In the final months of the Trump presidency, I asked the Justice Department to investigate where these environmental groups here in the U.S. are getting their money from. We have reason to believe that China and Russia are very much, in, much involved in the financing of these groups. Russia especially, uh, at this point, is uh, benefiting from the actions that our country and that the European Union have taken uh, over the years because the environmental groups have pushed these governments away from their own domestic production and into the arms of Russia. Uh, the Russians are celebrating the reliance of the Europeans on their natural gas and the environmental groups, we believe, are getting funding from the Russians. And even Hillary Clinton in 2014 said that phony environmental groups funded by the Russians were doing everything they could uh, to stop U.S. fracking and domestic energy production. And that's where we find ourselves today. We now have a president that has said yes to the environmental groups and has steered our policy away from domestic production and an over-reliance on foreign oil. And Russia is uh, getting exactly what they've wanted with Co that. Congressman, we've got to go, but real quick, I want to follow up. When it, when it comes to that funding, did you guys get this from sources or something like this through intelligence or something like this? Because this is not public information. This is what you guys are asking for. How did y'all find this out? I've had whistleblowers reach out to Copy. me. Uh, we have also we've also demanded for these uh, groups to deny it. They haven't denied it, and they won't open their books, and they refuse to share with us where they're getting mm. their funding. If they're so innocent, then uh, why not open the door uh, to an outside eye? Unbelievable. Russian and Chinese state-run entities potentially funding U.S. environmental green nonprofits to undermine our own oil and gas industry. If there's anything we should be looking into, especially at a time like this when we're so vulnerable, it's this. Uh, Congressman Lance Gooden, thanks for introducing the bill uh, and for talking about it. We appreciate it. Thanks, Congressman. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You got it. All right, turning now to a